freaking Thunderbirds, friends. Welcome back to the farming simulator, where uh, I'm deploying me uh, me windy uh, me windy miller. Right, lower it, fire it up. Uh, oh, oh yeah. Uh, and what that's going to do is it's going to scoop up all of the brown that we made recently and uh, and stick it into a heap to uh, to generate easy bull uh, easy bulldozing, easy bailing. Yeah, I'm make, I'm I'm making a bit of a dog's dinner of this, but uh, but that's okay. Uh, it's okay. All of this can be can be worked on later. You might go. That's a, it's a bit of an interesting bit of curvature you've got going on there. And I go, yeah, it's true. It is. That is an interesting bit of curvature. Uh, but this this is a first time out, and therefore what I'm trying to investigate here is uh, is just what sort of money we could be talking about. Now, because this this particular grass has not been treated with anything uh, other than bulldozing, um, uh, they're arguably. If not, uh, if not, understandably, uh, it might not yield very much this time round. But we're going to find out. We're going to see. I'll, I'll finish making nice, neat rows ish, and then we'll, we'll get to the next objective. Yeah, you're not wrong. I mean, you look at this and you kind of go, "This guy's a really professional." I mean, look at, look at the action. That we've got going on there. We've got uh, we've got monstrous uh, monstrous action going on from the windy rower, and uh, and monstrous results, albeit in places slightly wiggly and in other places slightly missing a bit. Uh, but I reckon that the uh, the baler, when we turn our attention to that, as we will do in in but a few short moments, uh, we'll be able to accommodate uh, these these rather erratic pieces of performance with a plum. Um, just gotta, just gotta finish this. But I don't think we're going to get to all of that. Uh, I don't. I think we've missed quite a lot of it. I'll be honest. I might have to do a second sweep, uh, or we can just, we can just make the baler deal. Then make the baler deal with it. It's, life's too short. Okay, fine, good, right. So uh, approaching the end of our zone, as we are doing uh, now. There you go, about there. Yep, super. Right. Unfoist the. Uh, the swoops there, turn it off, and uh, compact all of that up into a tidy little bit of business. Uh, that's good. Now get it out of the way so that it's not uh, it's not interfering with anything else, and uh, and then we'll we'll move on. We'll get the next beast. Here is the beast. Here is the baler. The baler and the beast, and I'm the best at bonanzaing both of them. All right, uh, give me some lights. Come on, fire all of that up. At last, that. That's the that's the ticket, right? Now then, if we uh, if we hit that, yep, good. Now, ah, what's the button for dictating bales? There we go. I want two forties, please. I want the big dogs. Um, yeah, right. Uh, to lower the baler, V. Turn the baler on, B. I know I don't have access to this land. I'm I'm prepping in advance of my swoop. Here we go. Here we go. We're going in. And we're away. Yes. Right. Now try and do this neatly. Try and do this at all. Yeah, you've missed. You've missed. Good. Good. All right. Okay. Let Let's just, for the sake of argument, say uh, we're going to have to do this in multiple laps. I'm okay with that. We're, we're indicating again. No. There you go. Hazards. That's what you want. Anyway. Oh, we're we're going to do this first bale dead quick. This is a good thing. Loads of bales means loads of money. And uh, and that's that's a good thing to do. While I've still got a quarter of a million in the bank, you know, there's there's nothing urgent about this particularly. It's more a case of uh, of I want to see what my my earning prowess is, has got the capabilities to be. There you go. As we're uh, emerging, bail number one out the back there. It's good you're taking your time there, bail number one. But uh, don't let me rush you. No, the important thing is that you're done correctly. Uh, the, the second most important thing is that you're done at all. And, uh, at this point, of course, most people go, well, you know, it's jolly fortunate you didn't go with uh, with round bales. And I go, yeah, that, that wouldn't be uh, that wouldn't be ideal. No, you would you'd probably struggle with round bales. Also, no, oh, no, no. See, look, bale two's coming straight behind bale one. I say, I oh, super. Yeah, no, this is uh, this is good. There you go. There is our first magnifique uh, piece of farming creation, and uh, I hope it's worth about fifteen grand. Yeah, 15 grand for each one of these and I think we'll be set. 
And uh, I have to admit, though, I don't think that 15 grand is going to be the kind of price range we should be expecting here. I think you're looking more in the, or oh, somewhere between 50 and 500 quid kind of mark. I haven't priced any of this up, obviously. Um, but uh, but you've got you to be optimistic about such things. Have we deposited our second load yet? No, no, just still, uh, still, still chewing away there. Yeah. Do you think maybe it would have been advantageous to uh, to go with smaller bales so you've got more of them? Well, I'm hoping that it's calculated in such a way that it goes via the bale quantity in terms of its uh, its weight and capacity and so forth, rather than uh, rather than any manufactured kind of like oh big bales go for less on a per moment of bale uh, equation than the small bales do. And you know, kind of go, well, why? Who, uh, which economist came up with that as a sensible piece of anything? You couldn't pick any of that up. Oh, really? Do I need to, do I need to windy row it? Clearly, clearly you need to windy row it. Well, okay, well, we'll get to it at some point. Either way, it's going to provide some nice mulch uh, for the grass there, uh, potentially reintroducing uh, kind of a, uh, kind of, a um, uh, what's it composting factor there to, to to help the grass get some extra nutrients and whatnot. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it might do. I mean, I couldn't say for certain. I'll tell you something though. Uh, oh, hello. Why we got a frame right at a bit of a moment? Um, is what? What were you going to say? Um, yeah, I come to it. Couldn't couldn't honestly tell you. Where are you going? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to see if this this hack works. Yes, it does. Lovely. Okay. Here's up to, It's a cheat. This. This. It's a total cheat. Is uh, if you've started out a silage bale, such as I have done here, uh, and then you go over a bit of grass, it will still think it's all silage, despite the fact that you're uh, you're filling it with that which thou should not fill it, um, and therefore you know you can uh, you can potentially get a little bit of cheeky extras. That said, of course, you will have you will have already uh, tethered the majority of your stuff, so. Uh, the only reason you wouldn't be including all of it is because you didn't tether all of it, in which case you're just lazy. If you've, if you've, you've done most of the work, do all the work and get it done. Yeah, yeah, rules for life there. Right, okay, yeah, pick up a bit more of that. That's another bale done. Yeah, super. Uh, where exactly are you going? Well, I'm going to try and get round to the start again and do this next row, but I just wanted to clean up a few of the odds and, ze odds and ends that we'd left behind. Okay, as you were then. Thank you. Yeah, no, no, your, your permission is important to me. Do you reckon you can get this little sliver here? I'll try. That's a big yes. Okay, right. There you go. The line is ahead of us. Let's make it happen. And it is being made to happen right about now. We're missing some, but I'll get that on the next lap. Uh, right, what's the bale count? There's, uh, there's one. Yep. Uh, two is there. You think it's four? I think it's four. I think you're offline. Oh uh, yeah, that's yeah, okay. That'll be, no, be fine. No, it's all good. Right, I'll I'll trot on, shall I? Yeah. Just a few odds and ends to pick up, and uh, and, I'm, and we'll call this a mission complete. I've got a full one there. That is, is it still emerging? No, it's stuck there. Um, I, that's not the end of the world because obviously next time I I do this particular kind of caper, uh, and it'll it'll continue tr contributing. Um, but I'd I'd rather have it now so that I've got a. A moderately accurate measure of exactly how many bales I got out of doing this section of land. The good news is it's a it's a reasonable number. Uh, the bad news is I've I've no idea a how many exactly and b what it's worth, if anything. Um, so uh, so yeah, so that's that's where we're at. Let's. Uh, I, are you are you doing anything in particular notable here? No, not really. Uh, I might pick up this little bit of grass just because it's unsightly. Okay. There you go. Right. Now, just check to see if there's a button that says uh, export here. Uh, right. Hold on. Is there an export here button? Fold baler. Turn off baler. Turn off baler. Okay. Yep. And uh, and then what? Uh, close her up. Fold it. Yeah. Can't do anything while the bale is loaded. Well, how do I unload the flaming bale then? Oh, unload. Why? I've tried that. Oh, no. There it is. Look. There you are. Oh, there was an extra two in there. Super job. Good. Okay, right. Now, we've got to uh, we've got to get rid of this. Now, fold it back up. There you are. And then pop it off the back. No, fold it up. Yeah. 
and then uh, and then put it in the car park. All right. Okay. Hang on. Wait for it. And now. There you go. That should be. Nope. Dispatch. Turn it off. Get get off my truck. Uh, unhook. You sir, out of the baler, unhook it. Un unhook baler. Okay, the baler does not appear to be uh, into an unhooking kind of an environment at the moment. Um, that's that's not gone brilliantly. Uh, yeah, un unhook. Pretty sure it's Z. Is it R? It's not. Is it Q? It is Q. It's not Z. I don't know what you were thinking. What's this Z thing you were thinking of? Uh, we've got a car in the way there. Uh, now, if I remember cars correctly, yeah, they they don't comply, not even slightly. So we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to nudge the old trailer here around in such a way that I could get a hang of it. There you go. That's it. All right, good. Now I've already used one of these. Uh, I used this on a on a little job earlier on, and uh, and that's fine. So I already know it's going to work. Hook her up. Yeah. Uh, open her up. Open her up. Open. 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 Operating. All right. Fine. You don't need to open this one up. Alright, here we go. Adventure mode. Now, all being well, it's not going to go... You don't own this piece of land, and therefore you can't have that bail. I think it will probably re respect the fact that this is my bail, and therefore... Uh, yeah, you see, I've got all the rights to it. Stuff it on in there, son. That's uh, tough. Yeah, yeah, get the next one. Beautiful. Okay, we're, we're in business. Try not to, try not to pick up the bailer. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, Thunderbird's that bad stuff back there. It's all good. Uh, and then, of course, once we've done this, it's uh, it's about going to sell it and uh, and reap the uh, the rewards that are so richly due to us. Hopefully, yeah. All right, there we are. So there's another there's another four there. Yeah. And basically, the the principle in operation right now is uh, is just keep rolling, and we'll we'll snag whatever bale is available when. Uh, when there's one approaching. Here we go. Grab this one. Whack! And uh, that's that's come up well. Good. Okay, it's one down here near uh, near Klaus and... Uh, I don't, was it Helga? I can't remember. Uh, either way, that's that's their house. They owe me rent. As is, uh, as is only right and, and proper. There you go. Yep. That's, that's coming along. What have we got? Six. That's eight. Lovely. Uh, these two make for ten. This trailer supports 14, and therefore I think I may have done almost the exact right number. Which is slightly disturbing. Anyone would think I'd planned it. But uh, but those of you who have been around for any kind of length of time will know that, well, that's obviously not true. Uh, yeah, we've got another three to come. So, uh, so just one short on a full basket. Super. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is super. It is. It is. I'm feeling pretty super about it. Yep. Hang on. Slap that one on there as well. Good. And then all I've got to do is figure out where you go and sell it. Go on, grab then. Grab it. Grab it. Go on. There you go. Right. Full load. Peachy. Right. Stick that away. And uh, unless there's one hiding in the bushes down here, which is certainly possible, but I don't think there is. Uh, we then need to go and, go and figure out where we're going. Which uh, is going to be a job for the big map. Okay, big map. Yeah, you save that content. I'm happy. Uh, now, I recall it is up... I thought it was up here. The animal dealer. Yeah, it is. It's the animal dealer. Right, let's go to the animal dealer. We'll go to the animal dealer, shall we? Yeah, let's go to the animal dealer. All right, bring up the big map here. As you can see, we're, we're heading over in a leftward direction to the crossing over the road. Oh, someone's done some nice work on this field. It'd be a shame if someone drove a tractor direct, diagonally across it. Well, it would be a shame if it wasn't so blazingly obvious that that's what I was doing. But uh, yeah, it's, it's all fine. It's all fine. Well, I'm optimistic. I place your bets now as to what this this load is worth. I'm going to go for, without breaking it out into a per barrel, uh, uh, per barrel, a per bale basis. I think we're looking at four and a half grand. That's what I think. If it's more, good. If it's less, less good. But no, I think I think four and a half grand is a reasonable uh, is a reasonable amount. Uh, but I've not priced it up in the slightest, and therefore I just don't know. Um, so uh, it's, it's going to be an adventure for all of us. Right now, then, uh, the 
packing in you, overtaking me down the wrong side of the road. Uh, here we are. This is our uh, our destination. Now then, if I recall correctly, that there, that is not a drop-off point. No. No, that's for that's for something else, and I don't know what it's for, but it's not for this. Uh, these we have to go and drop off in a very narrow point, just there, which means I have to reverse in. Yeah, again, if you're new to the channel, you might want to you might want to sit down for this. Uh, make yourself comfortable. It's not going to go smoothly, or in fact, fast. It's going to do the opposite of that rough and long yeah long and rough the jokes there all right themselves you can imagine it for yourself i'm not going to get involved all right there you go just the secret to uh to successful reversing is go dead slow well that's that's actually gone very well yeah i know i'm, I'm almost disappointed right uh why perhaps i know let's have a look there you go and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Go on, slap it on in there. Slap in. Potentially slap in. Oh, no, no. I've got to give it the slap command. Okay, hang on. I'm just going to try and get a good angle, you see? Or something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. That's... Oh, that's very pleasant. Okay, and now what do you press? I think it's R? No, it's not. Is it... Find the button? It is find the button. Okay. Uh, abort unloading. Unload bales here. Right, okay, we go. And do it. And then it should go flunk, flink, flunk, plunk. That was seven and a half grand. Okay. Yeah. No, that's good. That's uh, it's, I mean it's modest, but it's it's fine, obviously with a with a slightly larger field of uh, of bits and pieces to get. But seven and a half grand a time, that's not dreadful now obviously i'm looking at, at recouping the investments that i've made so far and therefore it's going to take a little while isn't it yeah 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 but uh rome wasn't built in a day and uh therefore it's fine good so the question that rears its ugly head now is uh now what um yeah, well, I mean, if, if your sole objective was to do a bit of mowing and uh, make that magic happen, then um, the magic has occurred. You know what we need? What do we need? We need a plough. Why do we need a plough? Well, we need a plough so that we can plough some stuff. Yeah. Plant some stuff. I see. And then uh, and then prosper. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, that's, a, uh, that's a concept. Yeah. Where do we live? Over there, by Klaus's house. Oh, yeah. All right, should we leave the leave the trailer in Klaus's parking spot it's what he would have wanted uh, obviously if he, if he started paying his rent then that would uh, you know he'd, he'd be less uh, afflicted uh, by the uh, by the parking scenario here there you go just drop that off there please drop it off there thank you that's, uh, that's where I'll want it for next time Klaus I'm going to bulldoze your house given half a chance just just letting you know um, good so if I am going to if I'm going to place a field, if we survey all that I own, where should I place it? Because um, none of this is flat. No, but I tell you what, this upper slope. Yeah, yes, yes, the the upper slope certainly. But look at all of the grass that's here at the moment. You could you could be merrily doing stuff with and indeed to all of this grass. While the lower slope is is fallow for the time being, and uh, and therefore you could use that as your field location. That's a very very astute piece of thinking. Thank you. Let's do that. All right. Yeah. Good. What are we going to plant? I've got no idea. It, it's the the plowing is the doing of the thing to start with. The uh, the the crop selection. That's the that's the icing on the cake for later. Do you think we're going to get the kind of plow that uh, that Johnny Bulldoze is going to be capable of using? Hard to say for sure. Uh, but we'll we'll go and investigate as we head back to the shop. All right. Well, that's that's a bit of fence that I thought was going to be destroyable, but wasn't. Uh, it's okay though. We're all we're all fine. It's okay. Uh, also, I'm a bit lost, but I'm fairly certain the shop's just up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I went too far. That's okay. Uh, right, okay, shop time. Uh, plow. Relatively and indeed modestly straightforward stuff. Uh, let's go. Right. 
uh, accoutrements, please. Uh, plowing, 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 plowing. What's a mulcher? And what does it mulch? I don't know. Uh, what's some, what, do I, what do you do this? Uh, mulchers can be used to crush crop stubbles, uh, which makes it perfectly suitable for grape and olive farming. Now, someone in the comments said that the slopes that I've got would be really good for a uh, for a vineyard, which makes me go, oh, yeah. So there you go. All right. And, uh, it's a, a vineyard. That's what I'm going to. That's what we're aiming for, because because uh, that sounds sounds like great fun. And maybe some some mulching might come in useful there. I've got no idea how to plant a vineyard, you understand. But uh, we're definitely going to want some, you know, relatively basic, straightforward, normal crops down the bottom. So we'll do that now. If I'm if I'm dedicated to a vineyard as a, an overall prospect, I possibly shouldn't purchase the Supermax plow because it's seventy five grand. Okay, well, what's a cheaper max? This has only got a three and a half meter spread. It will allow me to do twelve kilometers an hour, whereas this one, six meter spread. You see, um, yeah. Also, I do think that this will fit on the back of my uh, of my cheapy system. You, you, really, you think? Yeah, yeah. None of the none of these are very wide, though, are they? That's only one and a half, one and a half, not even one and a half meters. Yeah, two and a half meters. Yeah, three and a half meters. I think we. Have, I can't go any cheaper than that. We'll buy it then. Uh, I don't. I, I mean, I. I regret not buying the more expensive one. We'll just lease it. No, no. Um. Wheel weights on the tractor are recommended for use. I've got wheel weights. That's fine. Uh, look, that's six meters. That's almost double that. No, do this. I don't care if it does take you a long time. Uh, just, just get it. All right. Design standard pack -a mat. Uh, what's the what's the difference on a pack -a mat? That looks like it's got some extra. It's, it looks like it might be harrowing at the same time. Uh, but what's it? What does it do? What does it, what does that get me? No, keep it cheap. Keep it cheap. Keep it simple. Yes, please. I'll take that. Okay, thank you. Right. I mean, obviously, there's a whole bunch more gubbins that I've got to buy in order to make anything out of this. But I thought that uh, at least to start with, that uh, that getting, you know, a, a field set up and, and maybe some crops in it would probably be a, be a sensible idea. So uh, let's hook this up onto here. Now, this doesn't require a power axle, you see, which makes me think it will go on the back of the bulldozer. Then the bulldozer, as you know, has got plenty of grunt. Also, once we're established, we can always give this to Johnny Touchdown to deal with. Um, and he'll be, you know, he'll be thrilled to be uh, our plower in chief. Uh, but I've got, to, I've got to establish the basic field before any of that can be, can be accomplished. So, uh, so I mean, that's that's what we're going to do. This basic field in advance of accomplishing anything. And of course, it, it does make sense to to put some fields here because the silos are just there, which means that I can I can palm off my my grain relatively easily. You think a vineyard? Yeah, I think a vineyard while leaving room for a ski slope. All right. Okay. Yeah, well, we'll investigate it. I don't know how we're going to get on, but uh, but yeah, we'll we'll give that a look. Right. Also, chainsaw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know chainsaw, but that's that's an adventure for later. Right then, we're going to do uh, we're going to do up as far as Klaus's house. This is obviously going to take ages, so uh, getting it right to start with is all important. We're not going to go all the way to the edge of the road there. We want to leave enough space to be able to turn around and what have you. Uh, let's start by uh, unfur unfurling it. I think that just makes it wiggle its tail. Um, no, you you would definitely what what's it? What are we doing now? You're putting it back again, okay? Uh, down, yeah. Activate. I don't think that's it. What do I need here? Uh, fall plow, lift plow, allow create fields. Yes. Yeah, fall plow, lift plow. That's that's all there is to it. Okay, so if I tell it yes to uh, d to do fields, and then we do, there we, we're making a field, everybody. All right, now what I haven't said is that it's a neat field, and I haven't said that because it won't be. It's going to be a less than neat field. And you see how it just spawned crows out of, out of the ether there, from the crows they get into everything. 
Yeah, no, this is good. And also, we're gonna have we're gonna have a reasonable amount of farmable space here. Yeah, but now you're into flipping weeding and seeding and fertilizing and uh, and harvesting and you're gonna need a trailer to stick all of your goods in and all of that kind of business. And let me tell you for nothing, you ain't got the money for that, chief. You have not. Well, plow then. It's not quite. It's not quite flat. I don't care. It's not quite flat. Just plow. Don't be. Don't be giving me excuses. Do be giving me a field. Just would you please? Thank you. All right, that's good. Don't miss another bit. That's all right. I'll come back and get the bits that I've missed. Bet you won't. I bet you'll find that those bits can't be done for for reasons that are entirely unclear. No, I'm sure it's going to be fine. Sure, it's sure it's going to be absolutely fine. Good. Anyway, I've been Colonel Failure, everybody. We've made a bit of money. Yeah, we've we've had some laughs, uh, and uh, and we've operated a wide variety of machinery. Uh, I'm going to continue making my field here. Yeah, and uh, and next time around we'll do stuff to that field that will hopefully yield some prosperity. And then, uh, then if time permitting, we'll we'll get into the establishment of a vineyard where I'll probably discover that it's A, complicated, and B, too expensive. Thanks very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to keep up the series, and, uh, and I'll catch up with you soon. Lift the plough, please. Thank you. Okay, well, that's a start. Is it the start? Uh, it's very hard to say for sure. Right, okay, yep, yep, right about it. Yep, and uh, plough down, plough down. Uh, field back on, field back on. All right, and uh, off we off we go. There it is. There we go. There it is. There we are. There we go. Some rocks in there. Ooh, that looks like a new feature. Oh, no. Cursed new features. Cheerio! You could be forgiven for thinking that uh, that I, I conduct a fairly chaotic existence, um, given the, the semi-chaotic way in which I play games. Yeah. You, you, I, I'd forgive you for that. That's that's fine. I, I'm, I've no tro trouble with that in the slightest. The, the the opposite is the truth though is that I, uh, I am I'm I'm very tidy, um, uh, I, but I have high tolerance levels for things getting out of control, and I like it. It's bizarre. I'd, uh, well, one of the things I taught my I'm going all over the place with this talking about chaotic. Here we go. Um, one of the things that I taught my kids when they were young was uh, in order to make something tidy, you must first make a mess. By which I mean, if we take the, the shelves that sit behind me here, uh, if I wanted to reorganize those, the first thing you do is you take everything off, absolutely everything off. Uh, and then you, you go from scratch, you, you redo it. You don't try and just move things around a bit and make it slightly better. No, you reorganize the entire flaming thing. And I, and I play in exactly the same way uh, in that, yeah, there's a there's a lot of kind of mess and disorder uh, while it finds its feet, and then later on, uh, a certain amount of, of tidiness will be will be will be brought into play. Um, the amount of tidiness, of course, is largely dictated by the amount of time I spend on it, uh, and uh, and there will be occasions where I'll do this bit will be really properly well organised, and then it will just be a flipping mess everywhere else. Um, but uh, but yeah, no. Why am I why am I brought into mind of that? Well, I mean, this farming stuff that I'm doing is is all it's still in the chaos phase at the moment, and that's fine. Um, but I'm also I, I was fishing around for something to talk about, and uh, and I thought actually, yeah, I'm 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 reaching kind of peak chaos at the moment. The bit down there that you don't see, that's. It's well out of order. It's well, well out of order, and I, I need to go and I need to go and stash it in the loft. Quite a lot of it because uh, because it's not stuff in regular rotation. Given the choice, what I would love is like a a, a warehouse type uh, scenario where everything is laid out and displayed and put in its proper place, but it's sealed off somewhere so that I could only go and get at it if I really wanted to. And then my actual in, uh, environment that I, uh, that I spent most of my time in would be orderly and near Spartan in terms of, of the actual amount of stuff in there. I've got a ruddy, enormous desk, and it's got way more clutter on than I like. Uh, but I have to say, 
at least 50% of my desk space is completely empty. So, and, and even that, it makes me just kind of go, no, there's, there's too much of it. The thing is, an empty desk, especially a, a kind of hardwood desk like I've got here, uh, it reflects sound like nobody's business, and therefore it's absolutely rubbish for recording audio on. No, I told you I didn't have anything to talk about, and this is the best I could do on, on short notice. So there you go, a, a moment on, uh, on tidiness. There you are. You're welcome. 